position. Now I've also a tactile sensor, the tactile sensor on the head, tactile sensor on the hand, on the top and the side of the hand. Yeah. Uh, he's able to speak uh, English, French, Italian, Spanish, uh, Japanese, Korean and Chinese. Okay. He's able to recognize voice. No. <laughs> So he's also able to recognize voice in all these languages. Okay. So uh, for the one interested, I will explain how, how that works. He also is coming with an uh, inertial uh, sensor, which is a gyrometer and uh, an, acce an accelerometer. That, for example, we use to detect when the robot is falling, and when the robot is falling, it's dropping the arm and it's removing the stiffness from the motor. So he's removing the stiffness from the motor, so when he's falling, basically he's protecting himself from any damage. He's also coming with a, a force sensitive resistor sensors on the feet, four of them, that allow him uh, to provide you feedback about uh, where the weight of the robot is on his feet to work on the motion in the an area where you like to work. Basically what it is, it's a, it's a robotic platform that already comes with a, a, a library of, of uh, software modules that give you, that we, which will give you access to using a well-documented method. And we have already developed modules for motion, modules for uh, uh, vision, modules for uh, <coughs> shape recognition, uh, and I mean, pretty wide. So the interest is, if you're interested in a specific area, you don't have to redevelop the other part. I mean, but if you're a specialist in vision, for example, you may not use our vision module that will provide you a software development kit and SDK that allow you either in C++, .NET, or using Python scripts to redevelop your own module, vision, motion, or whatever you like. The robot is only sold to a research center and educational institution, and I mean, yeah, the spectrum of, of users is pretty wide, and you know, people use it to, uh, to work on human interaction, to work on motion, to work on vision, and, and, and many, uh, many areas. I've been talking, let's, let's have a look at, at now again and see, for example, uh, some parts of the vision capabilities that we're providing with you now. Do you want me to do something else? Motion? It's quite noisy, I'm not sure that the voice recognition works. The table is short, so I need to be careful with that. Are you ready? Or show you another one. What we're going to see now is the, um, the balance. Now, basically, that shows at the same time the uh, uh, vision capability, as you will see that now recognize the red ball and it's going to strike the uh, red ball, but at the same time, it's going to show you how it's able to move the entire body, what we call wolf body motion, but, I mean, without moving its feet. Let's have a look at that. Stretching the ball, moving the body. What he also can do, about the garage, about the car. Is that the Okay, I don't hear it, but yeah. <laughs> what he also can do, I'm going to put it downstairs here. He also can. Okay. He also can track and um, in that. You're not allowed to be here with your red shirt. <laughs> of course, with that, they can take a compliment to get someone with a red shirt. The 
don't see that. We don't see that. The other part of it now is it's able to follow the ball. You know, we have a program that is... Uh, when you give a platform to the software developers like you, that's what happens, you know. They just do crazy things on my robot. So now. So what we're going to see now is how he's able to track and follow a ball. No pressure. I don't really get a problem with the window and the light serving a little bit. He can turn on himself and he can also move backwards. Back now, back to me. Because sometimes it just falls, you know. That happens. What can you do? And uh, as I say, I mean, it's well protected, so I mean, falling is not a problem for anybody. Of course, you can turn back the law. So you did mean it. You can fall both ways. But the motion will be on the so I'm using the, the tactile uh, sensors. What I'm going to quickly show you also now is how now can learn some motion. You know. There's too much noise for me to use the voice recognition, so I'm using the tactile sensors. So what is going to happen now is he has removed the distance from the arm and from the head and I kept learning some motion, for example, how he can scratch his head, you know. Now I'm just going to replay that. In fact, what is really going to happen is you can do that connected to the computer and you're going to get that on the software we do provide the, the curves from every joint uh, and the, the angle that, that vary the position of every joint that vary and you can use that, you can modify that, you can export this into um, C++ or Python to include it into your, uh, your own development. You know, that's, that's how it works. Yeah, so if you're a good director, you could do uh, some nice dance also, you can see it. But I'm not a good director, I'm just doing stupid things a little bit. Yeah. Of course, um, what else can we do? I mean, I can get him to, uh, to walk along using his vision to detect obstacles. Exploration?